Hi, my name is Joe Whalen. I'm a systems engineer with NetApp. And today we're going to talk about how to create an aggregate in cluster data on tap 8.3.1. As with many storage products, data on the drives is protected using RAID. The NetApp cluster data on tap operating system offers a choice of RAID technologies. Dual parity RAID, sometimes called NetApp RAID DP and RAID 4 are the two technologies offered by NetApp today. In most cases, we recommend RAID DP because it can survive two simultaneous disk failures per RAID group. This means that in the event of a drive failure, your data is still protected with another parity drive. RAID DP is important because modern high capacity drives take longer to rebuild than the smaller drives of the past. And because RAID groups using RAID DP can be made larger, resulting in storage efficiency benefits. One or more RAID groups together form what we call an aggregate. An aggregate is simply a pool of physical storage capacity available to the system. An aggregate can consist of SSDs, spinning media, or both. Aggregates provide physical storage for one or more flexible volumes, and flexible volumes are the logical containers for data that clients and hosts interact with. Now let's take a look at a short demo on how we create an aggregate using on-command system manager. The first thing we're going to do is open up a web browser and we're going to log into on-command system manager. System manager is a tool to do the day-to-day -day tasks such as creating aggregates, creating volumes, LUNs, shares, and much more. So first thing we're going to do is expand the storage menu and we're going to go into aggregates. You'll see there are two aggregates set up for the root volumes and we're going to create two new aggregates today for data. You'll see that there's plenty of spare capacity available but we have not carved up any data aggregate space to date. If you look at the inventory you see there are 12 hot spares available to each node within the cluster. We're going to click on the aggregate tab and hit create. We're going to enter in a naming convention that's standard which identifies the cluster and the node belonging to that aggregate. Once we're done that, we are going to browse and find what disks are available for each node. You'll see that there are 11 disks available, even though there are 12 disks open, because it's leaving one hot spare per node. For our purposes today, we're going to enter five disks for this aggregate and hit finish. Once that aggregate is created, we're going to create another aggregate for the second node within the cluster by going through the same process. We'll once again browse to the disks that are now available for the second node. Again, only seeing 11 disks as it leaves one hot spare for, for that node. We're going to choose 5 again and create the aggregate. And you can see the available space within the two data aggregates that we created. And if you go down to the bottom, you can see which physical disks are associated with each of the aggregates that we just created. This concludes how to create an aggregate in Clustered on Tap 8.3.1. Thank you so much for your time.